Sir Elton John, 75, previously revealed his plans to retire after his performance at Glastonbury this summer. He has had a career spanning over six decades and will hang up his touring boots in July this year. However, Sir Elton has planned to retire on several occasions before but has continued to wow audiences. He first said he would retire and then hit the road again in 1977. Musician Smokey Robinson has now made light of this fact, as he struggles with the idea of his friend giving up the limelight. Speaking to the Mirror at Sir Elton's Oscars viewing party in Hollywood, the hitmaker said of his retirement, I've said that too. Elton has retired five times so I will wait and see. But despite his amusing quip, Smokey explained he would love to join Sir Elton on stage at Glastonbury later this year if he was asked. Speaking of his retirement, Sir Elton told CBS News, I want to be with my family, I mean, I've been touring since I was 17 in the back of a van. I've had the most incredible life, I've been so lucky, and I've loved every single minute of it but I've had enough of that applause, and I really want. It'll be 76 years of age when I stop touring in 2023. I want to do something different with the rest of my life. Sir Elton will take his final bow on stage in Stockholm, Sweden on July 8 following over 300 concerts across the globe since he started his career. But his first retirement announcement came during a show at Wembley Stadium in 1977 when he told the audience, I've made a decision tonight. This is going to be the last show. However, he later hit the road again before announcing in 1984 that he would be making the decision to hang up his touring boots. But in 2010, aged 63, he told GQ magazine, People aren't screaming for another Elton John record and am not screaming to make another record. Three years later he released his 29th studio album, The Diving Board, and just one year later at the Festival de Carcassonne in France, he told thousands of fans he had no more shows, no more music, no more songs. It comes after some heartbreak behind the scenes, with his partner David sharing that their beloved dog Marilyn had died. Last week he uploaded a touching photo of their pet as he bid her farewell. Don't miss Hunter Schaefer in eye-popping display going brawless at Oscars, photos Michelle Yeoh on Beacon of Hope for Asian Community after Oscar win, news Nicole Kidman sparks concern at Oscars in sloppy kiss with Keith Urban, latest, a heartbreakingly sad farewell to our beautiful and gorgeous Marilyn just shy of her 18th birthday, said David. She gave our family an abundance of joy and love. Marilyn joined the furnished Johns as a companion to Elton's beloved cocker spaniel Arthur. Together they traveled the world with us, from backstage at Caesar's Palace to the gondolas of Venice. Life was never, ever dull with them charging around. He added, Marilyn was like a sentry posted at the door when both Zachary and Elijah first came home from the hospital. Instinctively she knew about the importance of their arrival, and lay directly under their prams keeping vigil. Occasionally, she'd pop her head up over the edge to check on their well-being, with her tail wagging away madly. Nobody and I mean nobody who isn't a part of the family got near those boys. She was a fiercely loyal and protective mother. She's back together with Arthur now, charging around in doggy heaven and chasing rabbits. A dear friend once remarked a dog is the only love you can buy and the love we got back from Marilyn was bountiful and immeasurable.